Um, hello everybody, um, my name is Tise Tomukwena and right beside me we have the beautiful Hi guys, my name is Kopana Bosman, I live at Tax Village, obviously And we also live at Tax Village, <laughs> you can see I'm drifting in Tax Village Yeah, yeah Are we? <laughs> So basically we're going to be the host of this podcast um, This is going to be very exciting um, This podcast really means something really big personally to me So uh, me and Kopano we are going to be steerheading this um, podcast about leadership The Tax Village Podcast Yay! How are we? Can't wait um, Yeah, so it's going to be really, really, really awesome Yeah yeah, I think we have like a great journey, so please be with us if from the start till the end. You guys are gonna learn so much, like I promise you. You can go first. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on, people? My name is Ntete Matinyani, but I'm also known as Teddy. So, my full name is Jan Hendrik Vermoos, but most people call me JH around here. It's easier and I don't have to repeat myself as much. For me, it's about being part of something that can influence people for the good and bring awareness to the fact that everyone's leaders in their own right. Well, for me, I like the fact that we are trying to inspire people to look deep within themselves and see that they too are capable of being a leader. That leadership is not necessarily dependent on the title that you have but more on the responsibilities day-to-day -day responsibilities that you have which you need to fulfill and it all starts with believing in yourself what do you say <laughs> To me, it's all about the, the culture of that village. Every village, I feel, is a leader in some other way. We see it in the inclusivity, you know, because different nations being represented in that village. We, we have people from all across the world, and I think that contributes to or adds on to the name of that village being a world-class residence. And you can definitely see it in, its, in the villages living here. We are world-class people. That is what it is. <laughs> My thing is, leadership is a very broad thing. And if we are going to say this person is a leader and this person is not, by whose definition of leadership are we, go are we going by? If that makes sense. Because my thing is, some people lead more actively and those are the people that you see on the forefront, you know, doing presentations, speaking up. But then also the other people as part of the team who do the work, I think they are also just as much leaders as the people speaking. It's just leading in different spheres or in different ways. That's why I'm saying there's different leaders for different situations. And if you don't acknowledge that, then people could feel like they're not a leader just because they're in the wrong situation. Mm -hmm. What's that saying that if you keep saying, or if you keep telling a fish that they um, how to climb a tree or something like that. You can't judge a fish by its ability to climb a exactly. tree. Exactly, exactly. I feel like that's so important to leadership and to acknowledge that will, in essence, define your leadership. For me, um, I could see that there's a structure of leadership the first day that I arrived. I could just, when we were introduced to the RMC and also the, the you guys, the um, the block guardians checking up on us um, every night, seeing how we are doing, how's the adjustment, how are we coping. That was for me the first time that I could see, okay, well, there's a very high standard of leadership here. Um, I'll start with, with, with where I'm at right now within the RMC. Um, in Tags Village, here we live, that is our motto, and us as RMC, it's here we serve. So throughout our way of serving people, throughout our way of like not leading in a way of um, dictating or using power, but serving each and every villager so that they could meet their academic goals, they could meet their um, academic um, endeavours, they could meet also their own comfortabilities of 
transitioning from wherever they came from into the varsity life um that alone kind of creates a culture within us of um, inclusivity a culture of we helping one one another no villager left behind and that it spearheads people who are inspired to have that culture in in the open world and once they spearhead that culture by that in essence they being a leader leadership for me i think it's just to inspire others you know i think so many of us are so scared to take the next step but seeing someone who's like you dresses like you you know looks like you to a certain extent doing it you're just like maybe i can also do it so i think for me leadership is just always that thing of you can also do it not exactly the way i'm doing it but just to give you that kickstart of listen if i could do it you could do it even better so i think for me that's what leadership actually means to me yeah Um, a world-class villager and a leader. I would say in how we do things. Um, I'll start with, with, with where I'm at right now within the RMC. Um, in Tax Village, here we live. That is our motto. And us as RMC, it's here we serve. So throughout our way of serving people, throughout our way of like not leading in a way of um, dictating or using power, but serving each and every Thank villager. Thank you so much, guys. I want to end this off and I want to ask you, for your advice for the villager, for the person in high school who wants to become a leader but is afraid to take that next step into leadership. What would your word of encourage, woo, encouragement be? You cut that out. Yeah, all right. First of all, please, please listen to the podcast. Subscribe, <laughs> um, you know, click the like button, whatever, um, follow it. Um, stay in tune with each and every episode because we'll be taking you through um, all of this, um, all of these aspects of leadership, how um, leadership is more of a personal thing instead of just a position. And um, with through that, now coming back to the question, um, just just learn more. I say as a person, and whether it's it's within leadership or it's within whatever that you're doing at school or whatever that you're doing at home be open learn more learn more about people um talk to people um converse with people and the first the first place a leader should start is where the people are at because at the same time um when you are a leader you're not just the leader of nothing but you're a leader of something of people a leader of a, a certain aspect of, of of life so um, interact with that aspect, interact with those people, interact with that um, set of knowledge. So whether in your school, in your academics, or the people around you, interact with them so that you can learn what they need and what they want and so that you can have that relationship with them. Wow, I feel like he captured everything. <laughs> but just to add on, I actually like how he mentioned like the personal aspect of it. You know, sometimes when you hear the word leadership, you're just like, oh no, I'm not a leader, you know? And I think that's the first advice I want to give you guys is that like there, like with what he said, a leader is not a position, but it's just how you act in your sphere like in your little bubble you know it could be with your siblings you could be the oldest in your siblings and they could be looking up to you remember what i said that sometimes to be a leader is to inspire it doesn't necessarily mean that you always have to be telling people do this do that you know having to steer them but it's just that thing of you are like like a beacon of hope for certain people you know so being a leader doesn't necessarily mean you are in a specific position given to you at school or by a, an organization or whatever it's just how you carry yourself in your personal life you know there's we, we're going to obviously discuss it throughout the journey of this leadership um podcast where there's different characteristics of a leader and it could help you in anything you do in your life for instance group projects for instance um having to plan a birthday party for a friend. There's just so many things that we should be using leadership characteristics in our own daily life. So I think for me, my advice is you are a leader, even though you don't see yourself as one. A leader is not a position, but just how you carry yourself. So please join us and you'll be able to actually see that and learn that. Thank you so much. Are we? Stay yeah. tuned, guys. Yeah, do you stay tuned. Yeah. Before we cut anything out that you guys want to incorporate in the video.
it was that funny because I think we have about 20 minutes of footage, so it will be easy to get up to four yeah, minutes or something. That's fine. That's fine. Yeah. You know this side. What side is that? It's like really I also propose so. <laughs> it's like doing it's a my, I've been here for four years. <laughs> I've never seen this. But anyways, what? Like this. It's like you the T what? and the V. Yeah. But yeah. that's different, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Wait. <laughs> Tax V E. Yeah, you do it like this. Yeah. Oh. Like this. You like Tax to check that out. Yeah, I was about to say, but the T is like. <laughs> it's VT. <laughs> Always VT. It's T V. <laughs> Thank you.